I'm Dan Siskin, and welcome to Episode 5 of Brickmania TV. We're still new to this webcast project, so please remember to give us your feedback on YouTube, Facebook, or send a tweet to at Brickmania Toys. In front of me here is LEGO's Yellow Castle. When I was a kid, this is the toy that I wanted the most. This came out with the now famous LEGO minifigures. They're still pretty new and has lots of cool play features built in. For example, the walls open up, and so you can see inside and get inside and play. The drawbridge can be raised and lowered, and look at all these cool guys and accessories. These are just the kind of features I tried to put in my creations ever since. About 15 years ago, I had the idea of turning my models into kits that other people could enjoy. It was no surprise to anyone that my first sets were castle themed and shared a lot of the same elements of playability as this classic castle set. It was when the LEGO company selected my blacksmith shop to be the first fan design set to be officially released that their playable design philosophy came full circle. As the owner of Brickmania, it is my job to design the models and kits that we sell. Although Brickmania has no official connection to the LEGO company, I've tried to incorporate those same playable features I learned from years of playing with their products. On a future episode, we'll examine the blacksmith shop kit a little bit further and maybe look at a little closer at some of my other older castle sets. On today's episode, we're going to heavily focus on the M3 Stewart light tank. It just so happens to, that this week, Brickmania is reissuing our popular M3 kit. But before that, I want to let you know about new Roglin's custom decal packs for those looking to build up your minifig armies without putting a huge dent in your pocketbook. Last year, we released several new sets of World War I and World War II decal packs as part of our respective box sets. By popular demand, we are now releasing each of these sets for purchase individually, with a new set becoming available once per week. At the urging of our friends in the Netherlands, we are starting off with a squad pack for creating five Dutch infantry minifigures. These can be used on medium or sand blue for traditional uniforms, or use them with green or tan minifigures for tropical uniforms. We also have tutorials available to help anyone new to water slide decal applications. If you're looking for an alternative to expensive custom printed minifigures, water slide decals are definitely the way to go. The Brickmania team have also put together a special World War II Russian machine gunner minifigure and weapons pack. This includes a custom printed Lego figure with old school Russian helmet from Slubin. He also comes with a Brick Arms DP-28 light machine gun and matching brick printed Brick Arms crate. If you could buy all these parts separately, it would cost more than $30. We're offering them today for $25. We only have a small amount of these guys, so this offer is valid only while supplies last. And now, onto the M3A1 Stewart Light Tank Kit. As I previously mentioned, Brickmania is re-releasing our classic Stewart kit this week. Once a year or so, we bring out a limited reissue of this kit because so many people ask for it. Each time, we try to make it just a little bit better. This time we're adding a wonderful sheet of professional quality vinyl stickers. This actually includes insignias to build three different versions of the tank. First is the traditional American white stars. Second is the white star and circle of the Italian campaign. And third is the very distinctive first armored division livery of the Tunisian campaign. The M3 Stewart is a pretty challenging kit to build, but has some pretty cool play features. As you can expect, the main gun elevates and the turret can rotate a full 360 degrees. It comes with a custom pad printed tank commander minifig for which you can pose in the opening commander's hatch. He also has a Brick Arms M1919 for defense from air and land attack. Of course it rolls on our specially designed Brickmania track links. To celebrate the re-release of this classic Brickmania kit, my team has put together a special package. If you purchase an M3A1 Stewart this week, you'll receive a free US Armored Infantry Rifleman. This special custom minifigure features a printed U.S. Rifleman torso with armored division sleeve patch and one of our exclusive M1 steel pot helmets with camouflage netting expertly applied. This bonus minifigure offer is only available while supplies last, so hurry and take advantage of it. The M3 Stewart was the only American tank designed to see combat from the opening days of the war right up through the end. The Stuart was intended to be a fast, lightly armored tank, armed with numerous machine guns and a turret-mounted 37mm gun, powerful enough to defeat the armor of all but the heaviest Axis tanks at the outbreak of the war. Early M3 Stuarts had riveted hulls and turret armor, and many were supplied by Lend-Lease to Great Britain. Many were sent to troops fighting in North Africa, where they were nicknamed Honeys by their British owners in homage to their reliability and speed. Operation Torch brought American troops with their M3A1 Stuarts with cast armored turrets and welded hulls to North Africa in 1942. 
The U.S. Marines used the Stuart in their Pacific campaigns, including the legendary Guadalcanal and Tarawa battles. The Stuart's continued refinements through its production cycle and eventually be standardized as the M5 Stuart to avoid confusion with the M3 medium tank. While in many ways the Stuart was substandard to its Axis counterparts, especially in the area of firepower, the lack of a suitable replacement meant it would serve the U.S. and Allied armies until the end of the war. Now I'm going to quickly run over this week's specials at the Brickmania store. First, we are continuing our bulk brick arms deal with special discounts on the most popular World War II German gear. These are the Stahlhelm, the Car 98 rifle, the MP40, and the P08 Luger. Bulk discounts mean if you buy 10, you get 10% off, and you buy 20, you get 20% off. The discount applies to 10 of the same item, but you can mix and match the colors. Also, this week we are continuing our buy one get one free offer on all German decal sets from Roglan's Customs. This means if you buy a squad pack of German infantry you get decals for 10 figures instead of 5. And lastly, a reminder that you get the exclusive armored division infantry soldier with the purchase of the M3A1 Stuart. Also, a reminder that Brick Brickmania Elite members get 10% off every purchase. Follow the URL on screen for more information. Remember, you can visit us seven days a week online at BrickMania.com and at the Mall of America, third floor east side, suite E352. Thank you for watching BrickMania TV. See you next week. Hi, I'm Dan Siskin, and today's special BrickMania TV is episode five. This is a new release. It's the M3 Stir. It's a tank, and it goes Dutch decals. <laughs> Tank, tank, tank. History! History is about things and about tanks and stuff because it's cool! Is this really Dan's voice? I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think that's Dan's voice at all.